let's try to find some buying opportunities in the stock market. Tesla closed today at 229.81. Post market, we were down a little bit. So you see, we were watching 226.18, which we closed above yesterday. After some struggle, you know, we went quite low at 217.65. Then we were pushed back up. This is what this long wick at the bottom means. Today, uh, we did not go as low and we went higher and we still closed above 226.18. So we are still part of. This is still a step in the right direction, but as I mentioned yesterday, you need to pick your risk. You need to pick your risk. The risk is going to be decreased if we break uh, and close above 234. And also we have other resistance just a little bit higher at 238. So, you know, you pick your poison, decide where you want to enter. Personally, I like to enter a little bit sooner and watch it like a hawk. And watch it like a hug to kind of uh, see if it or reverses. But I think the 234 is going to be a decent, uh, a, a decent entry. Uh, and this is based on this reversal that we had last Friday at 234 exactly. But you know, this is doing great. We are making higher lows, making higher highs. We just need to break that 234. In terms of uh, indicator, stochastic is uh, quite good at 85, MACD is increasing, RSI above 60, DMI also crushed bullish a couple of days ago. VIX is continuing down. We love this. Down 3%, 0. 0.55. We are at 17.15. Now we are beginning to talk. Oh, the scare in the stock market is falling. This is the fear factor of the stock market. The fear is falling. The stock market is recovering. We love this. Let's take a look at the rest of the stock market. Let's look at Dow Jones, S&P 500, and also NASDAQ. Dow Jones, 0.55% today. Moving higher, moving higher and higher. Nice green candle. After this long week that we had today, this is a much cleaner day. We are on our way to 41.368. If we break this, then this is going to be a signal that things want to go higher. S&P 500, another nice day, 0.75% up. This one is reaching a long-term resistance. So, you know, you know, this is a really long-term resistance right here. And we'll see what happens if we can break that. We have Powell on September 18th that is going to decide if he decreases the interest rate. If he decreases the rates, you know, we should be having a nice go. And, and we could possibly break these two resistances. NASDAQ, nice day also, up 0.87%. We are still into this downward channel. We are not going sideways like S&P. So NASDAQ is suffering a little bit more. But uh, let's see if we can break this downward resistance in the next few days. Let's take a look at our important stocks. So Apple is making a low right here and it's standing there. It's not going lower than 216.57. We don't have stochastic over 60. We like to have it to confirm that uh, it wants to move higher. Right now, we don't have much confirmation that it wants to go higher. This is uh, basically what we call a congestion zone. We are going sideways. I'm going to put the resistance at 223.81 right here. This is where we stopped in the past. So this was support in the past and now it's resistance. This is not perfect. It's aligning very well right here. It's not perfectly here on that body, but uh, I think this is good enough. So if we break that, then this is going to be a very short term indication that we want to go higher. Couple that with a good stochastic over 60 that would help us show that it wants to reach 237.17. Right now, we cannot say that because it's just going sideways. Amazon, nice day also climbing higher, 1.34%. We are reaching 189. Uh, this is a resistance we had very uh, hard time breaking and staying above in the past. We succeeded uh, in July briefly for a couple of weeks, but then uh, we came back in. So it seems like we should be trying this uh, very soon. AMD, very nice, uh, you know, nice move also. Let's see if it breaks 153.35 before calling it a buy. Adobe, okay, this one, uh, this is a step change. This is a, this is a step change. We are breaking 585.72. You can buy at any point. You can buy at any point. You can buy 
you can buy right here, you can buy right here, you can buy right here if you want. I'm telling you the significant buys where we have the greater chance of it moving higher. If you buy blindly, you can buy, you know, at the wrong time and you are just going down. We are waiting for a stock to stop going down, to stop going sideways, and then start to show us that it wants to go higher. Arm, we had the break yesterday right here above 138.43. We are holding that today and this is the most recent high that we had and now we are going higher and we are also making a higher low right here. So this is a buy in itself. Of course, we have uh, some resistance not too far at around 150. So watch out for that. Google, the nice move up still into a downward channel. We need to wait. Microsoft uh, climbing higher and higher after the break of this downward resistance right here. We have some other resistance at uh, 480, at 431. So I would wait for that personally. Meta. Nice day, starting to climb higher and break some resistance that we had in the past. We'll see where this one goes. NVIDIA, we had a nice impulse yesterday. It stopped right smack on that resistance. Now it's continuing. You can buy at any point. You can buy at any point, uh, but you know, but there's a possibility of it cooling down or caving in to 127. Palantir maintaining itself very well. We now have to break 35.59, has a hard time. This is pausing there for now. SMCI trying to move higher, still into a downward resistance, need to wait. SoFi also trying, look at this, stopped right smack on our resistance, cannot make this up. Take a look at our EV stocks. So BYD. You know, this happens. We had the break yesterday. Now we are caving in, but we are coming back a little bit. When we break a resistance, we oftentimes have zigzagging because we have sellers that are there thinking that things are going to cave in. And we have some buyers that say, oh, this is the time to buy because we have a breakout. So, you know, we have the two crowds that are adding on to what's happening just because we have a break at this resistance. So, the tug of war is pretty much always intensifying close to resistance. So it's not impossible that we have this noise. Lucid, we have a cooling down a little bit after the big move we had yesterday, but we are right smack on this path. And the big move is going to come after we break 431, which would allow us to go up to five bucks. New battery material, uh, nine cents is holding. No stochastic does not want to go higher yet. Neo cooling down a little bit after the big move we had in the past. You know, the buyers are tired a little bit and the sellers want to take advantage of uh, this big move up to push it down. Novonix, nice sideway day. Xpeng, also the same thing, Xpeng. You know, this is about breaking 906. 906, uh, there's a bunch of zigzags right here that are happening. Rivian. Nice day yesterday, but uh, nothing more than that. We need to wait for 15.17. Nouveau Mont Graphite, nice move, 4% up, but uh, you know, we need to break at least 146 to start believing something. Nikola Mining, pretty much stable. Bitcoin climbing a little bit, but uh, no pattern break. XRP, XRP, we can say we have a pattern break right here. We were stuck. Under 54.8, now we broke it. No stochastic, so you know, this is not the best break. Okay, we have been staying put for the past uh, month. The past month, we had stability in gold. We had stability right there. You know, it was not moving much, just going sideways. Now we have something and look at the volume right here. So buyers are now overpowering, overpowering in gold. This is a buy signal. You know, we need to side with the winners in this tug of war. The winners are the buyers right now. And uh, look at silver. Silver is also following. Even broke this downward resistance. Start thinking about uh, getting back into gold. And if gold is climbing higher, uh, what is this telling us about the stock market as a whole? Because gold is a refuge, is a refuge sometimes. Well, we need to keep that in mind and check what is happening with our stocks. Okay, today we had the PPI month over month. 
the factory gate prices in the U.S. increased by 0.2% month over month in August 2024, following a downwardly revised flat reading in July and above forecast of 0.1. Prices of services increased 0.4% after a 03 drops in July, led by a 4.8% rise in guest room rentals. So, you know, this number was not the best right here, 0.2, and basically the consensus was at around 0.1. In terms of other numbers, we have the Michigan consumer sentiment that is coming out tomorrow. The good thing about most of these numbers is that they are coming out, you know, before we open. So you can get an idea of how the market is going to react by looking at the VIX when these come out. This is not a big move yet, but we are seeing something slow and steady. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my Trading View affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.